high school program. Um, we might be moved to applause, but that might throw our kiddos off. So we will take a moment and applaud Miss Laura and all of her crew right now. She loves to be thanked. And then we'll applaud once our kiddos are done with that part. Mark, what is this? This is Oscar. There's not much left of him. Uh, it was a 14 and a half pound turkey earlier this morning, but that first service, you got to look out for them. It's uh, to uh, remind everyone that next uh, Sunday we have candles and carols at 430, and that's free to come to, and please do. Uh, the people come when they, when they blow in the door. They're just so excited. Uh, a lot of singing um, and a lot of good stories. And then following that is the turkey dinner, Christmas turkey dinner. <clears throat> the candles and carols is free. And there's a free roll offering, but the uh, turkey dinner costs $14 a person except for people five and under, so I don't see any of them right here right now. But anyway, uh, and all the profit and uh, the donations go to the uh, children's programming at the Crisis Center here in Detroit Lakes. So hope to see you there. Thank you, Mark and Oscar. Ms. Connie, I'm going to invite her forward to share some wonderful news in the life of our congregation. I don't know if that's available for you. Good morning. This Christmas season, 155 people in our community will be receiving Christmas gifts. And that's because of all of you, your generosity and your kindness that you show to others. The Christian Outreach Committee thanks you for your support in all of our activities and our projects we've had this fall. So thank you very much and Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for sharing that great news with us and to the congregation. Those are all of the announcements that I have, so at this time I'm going to invite Laura and crew up as uh, we have the lighting of our Advent candle and responsive litany. In this season of waiting, we pause to worship and to remember.
The first thing she's going to say is, all right, boys and girls, let's get organized. How do you know that? That's what she always says, boys and girls. Well, what do you want her to call you? I don't know, just not boys and girls. It sounds wimpy. All right, boys and girls, let's get organized. See, I told you. Pay attention now. Uh, let's see, is everyone here? Yes, looks like we're all ready. And do you all know your lines? Yes, yes Miss Webster. And do you know where to stand? Yes, yes Miss Webster. And where to go for refreshments? Yes, Miss Webster. Now remember, we do one song here in the hall just to practice to let them know we're here. kids that was wonderful now I'm going in now you wait here and I'll be right back to get you a Christmas party for our families and the staff that's a wonderful idea Benny we can call it the first annual Cambridge retirement community Christmas party sponsored by the residents by the time we say that all that Christmas will be over well, how are we today? Not deaf, thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, of course not. Uh, are you all looking forward to Christmas? Oh, yes. We have great plans. Uh, s since this is the first year Cambridge Village has been open, it'll be a new experience for all of us. Not me. I've been having Christmas for over 65 years. Well, of course you have. Now, everybody get comfortable, relax, because you are, are in for a treat. The boys and girls from Trinity Lutheran Church are here to sing for you. Isn't that nice? Oh, brother. <laughs> All right, children, come in and line up so everyone can see you, and don't forget to talk loudly and slowly. There you go. Oh. That night, some shepherds were in the fields outside the village guarding their sheep. Suddenly, an angel appeared to them. They were afraid. And the angel said, Don't be afraid. I bring you the most joyful news ever announced, and it is for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah. The Lord has been born tonight in Bethlehem. And the shepherds said, Come on, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this wonderful thing that the Lord has told us about.
time, we're going to take a quick pause for our preschool kids to find their family. So if you have a preschooler, feel free to make your way up. Nice job, you guys. <coughs> And the angel said to Mary, don't be afraid. Very soon, now you'll have a baby boy and you to name him Jesus. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born and she gave birth to her first child, a son. When Jesus' parents had fulfilled all the requirements of the law of God, they returned home to Nazareth and Galilee. There, the child became a strong, robust lad and was known for his wisdom beyond his years. So Jesus grew both tall and wise and was loved by God and men. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little program. All right, boys and girls, you can go downstairs now and get punch and cookies. There she goes again. What? <laughs> Nothing, Miss Webster. Well, now, what are your plans for Christmas? Well, we were planning our Christmas party. We, we were discussing what... We were discussing some, um... A Christmas party? Now, why didn't I think of that? We're planning to have a tree and Christmas cookies. I have a lot of wonderful recipes. Oh, you won't need to bake cookies. I'll take care of that. I'll head up a committee. I'll make lists. 
I'll just, uh, we'll have a tree and decorations and presents. Oh, my mind is just racing. I have scads of ideas of things to do. I think we should do something innovative like purple and pink. That would be great on the Christmas tree. Maybe I should throw in some green. Of course, it is Christmas. We could have purple punch and pink ice cream. I think she means to take over this whole party. Sure looks that way. Well, I don't need anyone to tell me about parties. I've been planning parties since before Harriet Webster was born. Purple punch? To listen to her, you'd think we were all helpless. And colorblind. <laughs> Shows what she knows. I'm in better health today than I was 20 years ago. Less stress, more exercise. That's the ticket. It really gets my goat when they treat me like that. I raised seven kids. I don't need to be treated like one. I think I'd like to tell that Harriet Webster a thing or two. So, so would we. we. Some folks tend to think seniors just survive, but we're still doing lots of things. It is great to be alive. So lend a helping hand sometimes, but while you're helping, don't forget you don't have to do for us, cause we're not done for yet. <coughs> we have lived our lives, we have paid our dues, and we your party and we'd like to help yeah we'd like to volunteer never volunteer for anything I learned that in the army but we'd really like to help you that's Elizabeth and JJ that's Pete Elaine and I'm Annie too Annie too where'd you get that name when I was little mom would always yell at my brothers when they left the house take Annie too and it just got to be my nickname well, I guess we could use some help. Might be a good idea. What can you do? We could be gophers. What? Gophers, you know people who go for stuff?
you know, that just might work. Yeah. yeah. We'll beat them at their own game. Right. We'll show them who's helpless around here. Exactly. We'll have this party planned before Harriet can check it off her list. Who will we invite? Well, we can, in we can invite our uh, children. We can invite our children, and you can invite our, our parents. parents. And Miss Webster, too? Miss Webster, too. We'd better get started. Who wants to go for a tree? Oh, I'll go. There's some good ones at the supermarket. Supermarket? Who ever heard of buying a tree at the supermarket? We're going to drive out in the country and cut one. If you're going to cut one, I'm going to go, too. Well, don't dally. Come on, let's go. Let's see now. We need decorations, refreshments, entertainment. I'll make a list. I'm very good at organizing things. So is Florinelle. Why don't you two work together? Miss Florinelle, you said we need decor decorations. I'll take care of that. Elaine, will you and your friends go for me? Oh, yes. Decorating is my favorite part, except for getting the presents. I mean... And that leaves refreshments. That's my department. All right. You're in charge of refreshments. Why don't you take Annie? It's just me. She didn't say take Annie, too. I think one Annie will do just fine. Me, too. We forgot all about entertainment. What are we going to do for a program? And presents, we forgot all about presents. Just leave that to me. I've got that all figured out, and we'll have the best Christmas party they've ever had. Well, it took us a while, but with help from our gophers, we got everything under control. And on the night of the presentation, well, the recreation room looked just fabulous, just wonderful, if I do say so myself. And it wasn't purple either. <laughs> They'll be here any minute now. Does everybody know what to do and where to stand? Yes, Miss Florinelle. Well, well, I can't believe it. This actually looks nice. I mean, I don't mean that I didn't think you couldn't actually make it look nice, but you're all so old. No, I, I didn't mean old. It's just that you are all retired, and retired people don't... <sighs> Whatever it was you were doing before you got old... Oops. Um, it just seems I'm having trouble to keep going. I, well, actually, I think... Let me help you to your seat, Ms. Webster. <laughs> and don't worry. We'll take care of everything. <coughs> May I have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen. Will all parents, children, and friends please take a seat? We have a special program for you. The people who walk in the darkness shall see a great light. For unto us a child is born, unto a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace.
And the angel said to Joseph, Mary will have a son, and you shall name him Jesus, meaning Savior, for he will save his people from their sins. This will fulfill God's message through his prophets. Listen, a virgin shall conceive a child. She shall give birth to a son. And he shall be called Emmanuel, meaning Meaning God God is with with us. Well, this concludes the formal part of our presentation. Now it's time for the gift-giving part. We've gotten each of you something special, something unique, something we picked out, something useful, something we made, something priceless, something that will last a long time. And we hope these gifts will express the true meaning of Christmas. But that's not the good part. Now, all of you are looking at the box that J.J. and Pete brought in, and I suppose you're wondering what's inside. Well, it's full of envelopes. But that's not the good part. No, the good part is what's inside of the envelopes. So each of us parents will give an envelope to our children. And each of us children will give an envelope to our parents. Now we'd like for you to open the envelopes and you'll see that everything we promised is true. Let's start with Benny's son, Mike. Well, mine says, a lot more of my time, which I should have given you years ago. Love, Pop. 
Hey, thanks, Pop. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Lynn Bradley, JJ's mother, and I'd really like to read this one. Three months of keeping my room clean, I hope. Merry Christmas, Mom. Love, JJ. Thank you. Even if it only lasts for a week, it's the best present I ever got. I'm Emma Gross, and this is my friend Patsy. Let's see. All my best recipes, which I know you've wanted for years. Merry Christmas. Oh, Patsy. We can make them together in my kitchen. I would love the company. <laughs> Me too. I'm John Adler, and this is my wife, Susan, and we're Annie's parents. And our present says, a semester of really trying to do better in math. Love, Annie. Well, I'll pitch in, Annie. I know we can do it. I'm Henry, Florinelle's son, and I'd like to read my gift next. Mom, this is a terrific idea. Two nights a month with my grandkids, so you and Louise can spend more time with each other. Grandma Nell. Thanks, Mom. There are lots of other presents, and I know you'd like to read them all. So we will have punch and cookies in the Fellowship Hall. And now we will close with a song. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.
did awesome. Nice job, you guys. Um, I wanted to say a couple thank yous. A big thank you to my mom. For the last month and a half, she's come to DL and um, got to hang out and play for these kids. And so this is a special musical because when I was in elementary school, I did this play with her when she was the director. And now we get to do it again a few years later <laughs> uh, with some modern twists. Baby Shark didn't exist back then. But um, so this is a special one to do together. So thank you, Mom, very much for playing. And a very special, can we give uh, another round of applause to these awesome actors that like, <laughs> have done such a good job? And I'm supposed to give it, I give a disclaimer. Judy was not typecasted. She's just such a great actor that she could do Miss Harriet well. So. I told her I was going to tell her that, that that was not her. But they were so phenomenal working with our kids every week. And so just a special thank you, too, to the senior choir members and the parents that helped and Bill with technology and all that. But most of all, thank you, kids, so much. You guys did awesome. And parents, thank you for sharing them with us. They are so fun to work with every single week and bring a lot of joy to this place. And so, phew, you guys did it. Hey, nice work. So um, now what's going to happen is I have a gift for you. You guys get an ornament every year. So if I could have a couple teachers. There are two boxes under there. We're going to now play the game of connecting kids with family. So when you guys um, go find your family members, you can grab an ornament and then take your books with you. I need the prayers and the peace people. Preschoolers, you guys can come up and get an ornament if you would like or else find me after church. We're going to continue with the prayers of the people next, okay? Let us pray. Emmanuel has come, is here, and is coming soon. Let us join in prayer for the church, the earth, and all those in need. In the season of waiting, help us take time to learn more about you and your love for us. God be with us. Hear, Hear our, our prayer. prayer. We thank you, God, for your gifts of hope, peace, joy, and love. Be with us as we find ways to share these gifts within our lives and with those we meet. God with us, hear our prayer. prayer. This Christmas, help us to remember the greatest gift of all, the gift of your son, Jesus. Give us courage to share Christ and this good news with others. God with us, hear our prayer. Pour out your compassion 
and strength on your people in time of need. We take a moment of silence to name before you those in our hearts and on our minds. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And also with you. Please stand as you are able and share that gift of peace with one another. You may be seated, and we will now receive this morning's offering, giving back what God has entrusted to our care. And as you are able, as we continue with our offering response, let us pray. God with us. All that we have comes from you. The things we buy, the things we give, our abilities, our minds, our health, our hearts, everything is on loan to us. Guide us in how you would have us care for these blessings and share them with those around us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. As we celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion, all who believe in the true presence of Christ in the wine and wafers for the forgiveness of sin, you are welcome at this table. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. You're welcome to join me in praying our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated, and with the assistance, please come forward now. How we're going to serve communion today is by intinction, so you'll be ushered forward. If you would like to receive the sacrament, let us know by keeping your hand open. We'll give you a wafer, and then you can dip it into our split chalice. The wine is the darker color. The juice is the lighter color. You can consume the elements and then head back to your seat for silent reflection and meditation. We also have gluten-free, so if your diet requires that, let us know. And if you'd rather receive a blessing, just let us know by keeping your hands folded one on top of the other. Again, all who believe are welcome. Big as 
the sea with a voice as big as the sea. Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king, do you know what I know? In your palace warm, mighty
stand as you are able. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen and preserve you and keep you in his love, grace, mercy, and truth now and forever. Amen. Please repeat after William and Hudson. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my heart. God be in my left. God be on my right. God be on my right. God be on my right. We will end by saying joy to the world together. You are the disciples of Christ.